I'm Fox 4's Anvar Ruziev, your neighborhood correspondent for Fort Myers Beach. We're here on San Carlos Island, where all this time after Ian, so many neighbors are still putting it all back together, and some are still waiting on permits. We met Chuck Brantley, who rode out Ian on his boat. I had ridden out the storm on my sail, but it was a, a kind of a scary experience, not one I'd recommend. The water surged over 14 feet here, and Chuck managed to snap this photo from inside his boat as it floated near the rooftops. Since then, Brantley has been working to rebuild his home, which is just now getting close to done. But not all the neighbors here had the same timely recovery. We're like 98% done. Life's starting to come back to normal. Back to normal. You mean the new normal? <laughs> um, I'm hoping at least um, it'll happen within the six months. That's my prayer. Neighbors say that securing the permits has been the toughest part as of late. I can't do anything until the building permit is approved. Even once the permits are approved, the meter is running as the costs add up. I had to pay for a, a temporary RV permit. I had to pay for a temporary electric permit. I had to pay to uh, permit for my demolition. I had to pay to have them come out and check it, inspect it. It's, it and these are just starting. I haven't even started. Apart from the permitting, the neighbors here also tell me that they've been engaging with FPL to try and bring streetlights back to their neighborhood, which, as you can see, is quite dark. Reporting from San Carlos Island, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.